It's 6 a.m. this morning. We're heading out to the J. Wyoming Bitcoin mining farm. And so this is our, our own site that we, we own and operate personally. It's in a very remote region. You know, we're about an hour plus from any of the nearest towns or cities. We're in the heart of the Powder River Basin in Wyoming. One of the premier oil and gas plays within the country. Today what we've got going on out there, we've got two new containers that we set full of S19J Pros. We've set a few generators and we're bringing another one out there to hook up and get 100% of these containers online and hashing. I think Bitcoin provides a lot of incentives to find the cheapest sources of energy. We've got about six megawatts of power that's being generated. And so what that means, uh, give or take roughly three quarters of a Bitcoin of production a day coming from our site right now. So the way we look at it is you're replacing a wellbore with a computer. And instead of you selling hydrocarbons that you produce from your wellbore, you're selling terahash that you produce from your ASIC. And then instead of selling a hydrocarbon for USD, you're selling it for you're selling your terahash for Bitcoin. Both industries, your battle is to try to be the lowest cost operator to produce a barrel or your lowest cost operator to produce a Bitcoin. The benefit of natural gas for us is the amount of power that it provides. This is a way to keep a baseload on that system that allows you to monetize immediately and start earning back that revenue that you've put into building out your renewable projects. But it's another commodity that diversifies your revenue stream. The best way I explain it to my kids <laughs> is I compare it to like V-Bucks and Robux and they transact on video games all the time. And I just try to get them to understand there's gonna be more and more people that end up wanting to take Bitcoin and then I can use it just like you use your V-Bucks. So video games is the easiest way for me to explain to my kids what, what Bitcoin is and, and, and uh, how to use it and what I do. I grew up in the oil and gas industry. My dad was in it. I grew up in a small town in, in Alberta, Canada. And, uh, you know, hard work and getting up early and working long hours and tough hours, that was just what I was surrounded by. We really do know oil and gas very well. And we know that there's underutilized power all over the industry. And that's when we said, hey, let's take advantage of this. So at that time, Bitcoin is really for me as the oil and gas operations guy, it was to keep my oil online. And it wasn't until I started becoming more versed into it and digging into it that I started realizing that there's a plethora of applications for this that you can apply across the entire oil and gas industry and in oil production, gas production, and Bitcoin production. Everybody in oil and gas that's worked it for more than five plus years has been through a downturn. It's typically on a seven year cycle or so. People are already very aware of when times are good, save and build your operation to outlast the downtime. The oil and gas industry is really starting to recognize the, you know, the asymmetrical risk that Bitcoin mining can add to their portfolio. We're trying to educate oil and gas companies that as well as like, look, you have transformers sitting there. You have substation power sitting there. You have a natural gas generator that's sitting idle. You've already spent the capital on it. Why not put it to use and create an additional revenue stream? I've had a lot of different jobs and I've been poor before. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna yeah. go after something and do something that I wanna do. As much as it sucks to be gone, it's like, look, I'm showing my kids. If you wanna attain something or achieve something, you just go do it. And I get made fun of by my kids constantly about my enthusiasm for Bitcoin. My son, I'm sure, thinks I have some type of bag that I walk around collecting Bitcoins in, but I'm gonna bring him out to site here pretty soon. So it'll be good. Addison's my 14 month old daughter. She doesn't know it yet, but she's got a, a wallet address set up and an account that I put into. To her, she doesn't have much of an opinion on it, but I hope when she's 18 or maybe 30, who knows how long it'll be for her to, you know, if Jay becomes successful and we continue down the path that we're on, that uh, she can look back and be like, that was, that was a good call, Dad. <laughs>